Lord said to Noah, there's going to be a bloody, bloody. Lord said to Noah, there's going to be a bloody, bloody. Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord. So rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God your glory, glory. Rise and bothers with people she hates. That's why the lady is a tramp. She likes a free fresh wind in the hair. Life without care. She's a rogue girl. Takes California, it's cold and it's down. That's why the lady is a why the lady is a why the lady is a tramp. <laughs> Elizabeth for a manicure. Oh, and Elle, I sat next to this woman whose face was pulled tighter than a bongo drum wearing a skin-tight outfit that wouldn't be appropriate for a woman half her age. Really? Did you say anything? Of course. I said, I loved you in mahogany, Miss Ross. <laughs> Are you ready to go to the office? Uh, no, that's what I came to tell you. I I'm going out of town for a few weeks. Oh, Niagara Falls for the hydrocolonic. No, no, no. I'm still soggy from the last one. No, I met this really incredible guy. He's taking me away for a pre-Thanksgiving tryst. I'm going to be giving and he's going to be thanking. When did you meet him? Yesterday. What's his name? Baby, oh baby. Oh, I see. He's Irish. Well, Ellie, I assume that you'll be dropping off your new manuscript before you leave. Oh, well, yeah, I just wanted to put a few last-minute touches on it. I'll FedEx it to you. Oh, all right. Well, you do realize today's the deadline. Oh, oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, well, I guess it's going to be uh, a little bit uh, tardy. Tardy? You've never been tardy. Never even used the word tardy. Exactly how tardy? Tardy, tardy. I think the word says it all. Oh, don't worry, it's going to be worth the wait. Hung Jury's gonna be my best book yet. As if anything could top your last one, Sinner Sadist Rebel Rabbi. <laughs> Still, honey, if, if I could just have a little peek of what you've no, done... No, 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 peek, no, peek, peek, no peek, no peek. Not till I'm finished. Morning, Mom. Morning, darling. Brendan, hello. Ellie, <laughs> goodbye. Oh, Brendan, nice outfit. <laughs> and just one number short. <laughs> That's all right, Ellie. I already have your number. <laughs> oh, Brandon, you're so funny. And I figure if you can make me laugh, you can make me holler. Wow. <laughs> if I could only make you disappear. Brendan, uh, what position do you play? If you must know, I'm a forward. Well, then what are you uh, waiting for? <laughs> well, I've got to go. Brendan, have I ever said how grateful I am for the enormous tolerance you show the people in my life? <laughs> well, I guess I better go home and start packing for my pilgrimage. <laughs> oh, baby's taking me to Plymouth Rock. Isn't that lovely? You'll be spending the holidays between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> That's the plan. You know, Ellie, perhaps you should postpone your little trip a day or two and finish that manuscript. That way you can relax and I can relax. <laughs> well, I... Relax? You should relax. Oh, well, if you're so relaxed, you don't need to take a trip. Oh, not that relaxed. Don't worry, Dad. Oh, Ellie, I'm not worried. Well, good. Then both of us are relaxed and yeah. neither one of us is worried. <laughs> I'd be worried if I were you. <laughs> no, you'd be rich if you were me. <laughs> Ellie, what's going on? Nothing. Eleanor. All right, all right. Sit down. All right. Grab a Kleenex. I have something to tell you. I'm incredibly ill. What? What is it? Well, I've just returned from the doctor. I've been diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder that affects a certain part of the brain that controls certain motor functions, like getting the tassels to spin in opposite directions. <laughs> and writing. Just to name two. You're lying. Yes, yes, I am. They said that would be a symptom. <laughs> Eleanor. Oh, all right, all right. The truth is, I was mugged. Mugged! I'm fine, but in my poor...
portfolio were the freshly typed pages of my manuscript. Mm -hmm. You expect me to believe this? All right, all right. The truth is my dog peed on it. Ellie? Oh, I don't have a dog. Well, somebody peed on it. Eleanor, <laughs> tell me what it is that's going on. I don't have an ending for my book. That's not a problem. Or a middle. <laughs> or a beginning. And I'm having real doubts about the title. <laughs> that's a problem. Oh, Doc. Blocked? What? No, no, no. You said tardy. No, no, not blocked. Go with tardy. I don't know what's happening. I sit in front of the computer and I just stare. I'm so scared. Why didn't you tell me you were having trouble? I was afraid you'd be mad at me. Are you? Well, darling, I'm torn. On the one hand, my heart goes out to you. On the other, I want to ram a pen in your hand and scream, get writing, you selfish, melodramatic bitch. <laughs> you see my dilemma? <laughs> Sorry, Dot. I knew you'd be mad at me. I mean, I know, I know that your business depends on this. Oh, no. I don't care about the money. I care about you. I can't stand to see you in such pain. Even your lying is suffering. Oh, Dot, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go to the office and I'm going to talk Peter into pushing the date of the release back. Maybe it's just this deadline thing that's keeping you from writing. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I hope so. I mean, if there's one thing I've always been, it's prolific. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, drink. <laughs> I mean, you know, you take that away and what's left, I'm just a, a stunning socialite with incredible muscle control. <laughs> I'm about to talk to him now. Yes, that's what I want, because I said so. Thank you. Buongiorno, Stefano. Messages. Don't tell me hemlines are going up again. I'm trying to cover my shame. Oh, Stefano, what is it? I... I have a pimple. <laughs> there, I say now, and it is so. Oh, Stefano, I am so sorry. Why? Why is he such a punishing God? Do you put imperfection on the Mona Lisa? No. Did Michelangelo put a blemish on the David? No. Do you change the shape of Gina Lollobrigida? Well, she is pushing 70. Ma allora no, non ci siamo, allora abbiamo basta, capito. Basta, basta, don't panic, let me see. There's nothing there. Nothing? It is Mount Vesuvius, it is the Tower of Pisa, it is... Nothing? Really? <laughs> Your skin is like polished Carrara marble. Of course. Mm. What was I thinking? Stefano is beautiful. <laughs> Good morning. Wow, Stefano, nice zit. <laughs> you better put some of those orange safety cones around that thing before somebody trips over it. <laughs> Tomorrow, my zit, she will be gone. Can you say the same for that face? <laughs> Hey, take another look at the size of that zit, pal. That's not gonna be gone tomorrow. <laughs> well, that was fun. And now I have a question for you. Who made the bigger mistake? Shelly Winters for having that very first baby Ruth bar, or us for commissioning Bob Packwood's book, Men Are For Mars, Women Are Just Plain Bitches? Why, what happened? Did you see the Times this morning? Peter, this isn't good, is it? Oh, but it gets better. Tom Warren has just defected to Doubleday. Well, then why are you so happy? Because this is the day that Ellie gives us her brand new manuscript. Oh, I know, it's gonna be just huge. I bet it's great, isn't it? I'm sure it will be once I have it. You don't have it? When do you get it? When it's finished. It's not finished? If it was, I'd have it. We'll get it. I can. Why not? It's tardy. When will it be ready? Shortly after she starts it. She hasn't even started it? She's blocked. Well, unblock her. You know, shake her. Heimlich some words out of her. I don't care. Just get her writing. Peter, it's not that easy. You can't just force an artist to create. So what's Ellie's excuse? <laughs> if it were any other author, you would be chewing her head off. I know that, but it's Ellie. And, and she she's my very my... best friend. I know. You're really just rubbing <laughs> That's right, she is, and I will handle this my own way. Hey, Elle, now there's no pressure. 
To make it easier for you, I have strategically placed computers all over the house. <laughs> Therefore, if inspiration strikes, you don't have to travel far. Thanks, Doc. I'm going away now. But I'll be close, but not too close. <laughs> How's it going? She's waiting for the muse to ascend the brightest heaven of invention. Looks to me like she's just farting around. <laughs> farting around. How eloquent. I have my moments, too. <laughs> oh, look. Here she goes. I'm not blind, Frank. The only thing wrong with my eyes is that I can't see myself making love to you. Damn, even I wouldn't read this crap. <laughs> sure, I take dolls. You don't have to get up at five in the morning and sparkle, Frank, sparkle. <laughs> this is good, this is good. Oh, it is good. It was even better when Jacqueline and Suzanne wrote it in Valley of the Dolls. <laughs> Dr. Li, he is the foremost Chinese herbalist in the city. Oh, no, darling, we're not going to smoke it. We're going to drink it. This work? This same formula given to Confucius, and he write a lot. Oh, yeah. In fact, he never shut up. Confucius say this, Confucius say that. Mrs. Confucius leave him for that very reason. Oh, oh. oh I don't think so. This smells awful. Oh, I'll do it with you. Oh, good friend. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, cost extra. <laughs> A drink. Okay. It's not bad. No. That's lavender, canis root, a hint of ginger, and of course, crushed goat testicle. <laughs> what happened? You get a chunk? headgear shoots flickers of light into your brain and channels the alpha waves to stimulate creativity and send you into pure relaxation. Do these come in any other colors? <laughs> okay, let me show you how it works, honey. Oh, my. These really are relax... This is Woody, appropriately named. Uh, Woody? My bet is he would. Yes. Yes, he will. And just for you, as soon as that book is done. Woody, flex for Ellie. Oh, oh. Oh, think, Ellie, think. Right, girl, right. Thank you, Woody. Oh. That, nothing's working. Thanks for trying, though. We gave it our best. Yes, we did. Dot? Yes, mon chers. I I've made a decision. And on only one Prozac, two Valium, and a Percodan. <laughs> then we know that it's a clear and level-headed one. I want out. Well, I'm still on top. It's always been my preferred position. <laughs> Darling, what are you talking about? I'm gonna give up writing. We're ruined. No, without Ellie, we're we we're we're ruined. No, you're lucky. You've got family money. I've got a mother on a respirator and girlfriends that demand gifts for sex. <laughs> Okay, all right. I could cut back on mom's oxygen. Yeah, she's been delirious for months, but Claudette, she's French and she's spiteful. Start cutting back on her gifts and she won't shave her pits for months. Peter, listen to yourself. Now listen to me. Okay. Shut up. How can you be so insensitive? 
She's upstairs like a lost child, and nothing that I've been able to do has helped her. And before you see her, I must warn you, she is having one of her Joey Heatherton moments. Dot, Dot, the only way to deal with these temperamental types is with a firm hand and with threats and pressure. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Come, come down. You you look great. Come on, sit. Here it is. Come on. That was really firm, Peter. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, Ellie, look, uh, things have got to be said, and it looks like I am the only one with the courage around here to say them. Please, 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 please write something. Please, anything. One touching fornication scene. Bondage with a message. I don't care. Anything. Please, it's okay. Okay, I think I've made my point, and over to you, Doc. Peter, I'm not writing anymore. Tell him, Doc. She's not writing anymore. Okay, well, then I can accept that. Mm. And if you ever do decide to go back to writing, I want you to know you always will have a place at Emerson Publishing. Peter! I mean that from my thank heart. Thank you! Get the advance back. <laughs> Ellie, honey, look at me. Do you remember when I was about to marry Richard, you yanked me by my wedding veil? pulled me into a confessional and said, you are about to give up a part of your soul that you may never reclaim. Screw this. Let's go get wasted. No, 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 you go on without me. Ellie, that's not the relevant part. This is. I am trying to understand and support your decision. But now I ask you, are you really prepared to give up something that you may never reclaim? Well, I didn't ask for this to happen. But I'm fine. I mean, even if I can't write anymore, I'm still Ellie Walker. Ellie, hello. <laughs> hi, Brendan. Ellie, he said, hello. I said hi back. <laughs> Ellie, you're not okay. Sure, sure, I am. I'm okay. The animals, they came on, they came on by twosies, twosies. Oh, hi, all. The animals, they came on, they came on by twosies, twosies, elephants and kangaroos. <laughs> Life becomes so clear when one goes soul to soul with a pair of Bruno Marnier pumps. I'll just sit here and wait until you're done, Dad. Oh, come with me. Shop. Be among footwear. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I have enough shoes. Excuse me. Am I mistaken, or is that the famous writer Ellie Walker over there? No, you are not getting this last pair of seven, sweetie. Oh. Good try. <laughs> Please. Those tugboats are a nine if they're an inch. <laughs> Excuse me? Am I mistaken or is that the fabulous writer, Ellie Walker, over there? What? Where? The stunning woman in the hat. Look, that's Ellie Walker. Do you think she would mind if we went over there and talked to her? Nah, they love that. That's why they go out. She has shoes. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Miss Walker? Yes? It's her! <laughs> My sister is gonna be so jealous. She loves you. I've read all your books. It's like you're writing for me. Really? Mm -hmm. I loved Submissive Samurai. Well, yes, that one was good, wasn't it? <laughs> My favorite was Pool Boy's Plunge. It is so fascinating to find out that Chlorine is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Walker? On behalf of the shoe department, let me say that after the release of Stiletto Summer, our sales went through the roof. Really? <laughs> well, aren't you sweet, all of you? <laughs> Thank you. All of you. Excuse me. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, what's going on? Ellie, 
I thought if I brought you to your fans and your fans fawned over you, you would see how much you meant to them and that would mean something to you and you'd start writing again and then you'd be yourself again. Everything would be okay again. And I saw it in a movie with what's their names? I love you. And I know you meant well, but things have changed. I've changed. Oh my God. There's Tippi von Schlager. Really? She's coming this way. Hi, Dot. I just bought a copy of your new book and couldn't put it down. Really? It must have made it hard for you to floss. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with next. Actually, Tippy Ellie has given up writing. Really? Kept scandal. But good choice. I mean, how many times can you rewrite and retitle your first book? At least now that you've come to terms with your mediocrity, we don't all have to laugh behind your back. Really? Well, most people laugh at you when you're on your back. <laughs> or on your front, since it's kind of hard to tell the difference. Oh. <laughs> Ellie, I'd say you were two-faced, but I know if you were, you wouldn't choose that one. Well, Tippy Beauty's only skin deep, so I suggest you get a facial peel so we can get a look at the good part. <laughs> or better yet, let's just sand that thing down and get back to the original wood. <laughs> Bin. Trash bin. Bluesy, frigid, bad shit and cheap shoes. <gasps> Take that back. Take a walk. Take my advice. New York isn't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you're including your butt. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Bitch! <laughs> Dad. Dad, I have to get out of here. Oh, darling, give her a head start. You know how she gets weighed down by all that collagen. No, 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 don't. I, I have to write. See, the problem was the story. It, it didn't inspire me, but now I have a story to tell. A story about a, a scrawny, stuck-up socialite who thinks she's better than everyone else until she finds out her husband is a woman. I've already written the first three chapters of my head. I just have to put them down. Go, run, write like the wind. <laughs> Pair for me? Uh, this is the last pair. Oh, uh, then they're mine. All right. And then on to Bendel's for the new Oscar de la Renta collection. On you. All right. A deal is a deal. You better believe it is. <laughs> He's one half of Chicago's toughest detective team. And he's the other. Hey, hey. You asked for it. We got it. Due South returns with all new episodes Friday. You're on CBS. Yes. Need a break? Yeah. The Monopoly game is bigger, better, and back at McDonald's. Just order any of these McDonald's food favorites to get your game piece. Cruises, cars, cash, a million bucks. This is your best holiday break ever. I won! You won! People everywhere are winning big. Playing the Monopoly game at McDonald's. Mary Wallingsford won a $2,000 Citibank shopping spree. Thanks, McDonald's. And with millions of prizes left, you could be next. So take a break and get a break at McDonald's. When you were growing up, did you know what you wanted to be? A mother? A dancer? A glittering success? And did you know that whatever you chose to do, something inside you would always shine through? Ghost Mist. You can't see it, but you know it's there. This is going to be my first Christmas away from home. Our son, Warren, enlisted in the Navy. He's a fireman. You see, ever since I can remember my parents, well, they've given me a Hallmark ornament. This was his first one? First one. Well, when I got my license, I got him a car. A car? <laughs> so, this year, we sent him a fire truck. <laughs> Help someone remember this Christmas forever with a Hallmark keepsake ornament. I opened up my ornament. 
all of a sudden it was Christmas. I'm gonna get me some new Gibbles and Bits stew. Stew, 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 stew. Oh, oh. What a dog won't do for new Kibbles and Bits stew. Based in meaty Kibbles Bits with a taste of carrots and peas. Stupendous. New Kibbles and Bits stew. Something's been overlooked in the design of women's razors. The woman. But there's one razor that adjusts to your legs and underarms, even bikini line. Norelco Silhouette, the first razor designed to shave a woman where a woman shaves. Friday, Picket Fences returns. The Pope is coming here. When a divine visitor witnesses a murder. You cannot subpoena the Pope. Picket Fences is back at a new time. Friday. Chicago Hope, tonight on CBS. No one knows how to reverse the aging process. But we do know that proper nutrition is one of the keys to staying healthy and active. Unfortunately, sometimes we're just too busy to eat right. The good news is, now there's Boost. It's a whole new kind of milkshake with 25 important vitamins and minerals, including antioxidants and beta carotene. No, there isn't a fountain of youth, but you can help keep your body at its best with Boost. There are many prescription pain medicines, and a doctor can prescribe any of them. Yet 82% of doctors surveyed have prescribed Arutus. And now, for the first time, it's available in a non-prescription strength. New Arutus KT. It's so potent, just 25 milligrams is as effective as 400 milligrams of Motrin IV, 440 of Aleve, or 1,000 milligrams of extra strength Tylenol. New Arutus KT, the potent medicine for pain. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> to infinity and beyond! Some of them have been here for hours. They can't put their puppets down. Hi, cutie. Oh. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Howdy. New at Burger King, Toy Story puppets from the magical Hello. Disney movie. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. Get all four high-quality puppets for your kids. $1.99 each with any great-tasting value meal. Toy Story puppets. You can't put them down. Looks like it's going to be a long night. I think we better get more puppets. More people than ever are turning to hope. You turn that girl into an addict. You have to cover for me. Drama that will keep you on the edge. Chicago Hope. Next. Tuesday. Love is the number one motive for murder in this country. You made that up. I did, but that doesn't necessarily make it false. John Grisham's The Client. Then, he's tired of the crime. And when they come after his family... He said he'd kill us both. He's tired of playing by the rules. Steven Seagal. Mark for death. Tuesday. In business, you can't always count on having enough time. But you can count on AT&T, because only AT&T guarantees you a competitive price. Our 1-800-COMPARE Center will give you an immediate side-by-side -side price comparison. And we're so sure that our prices are competitive that if you don't agree, we'll give you one month's worth of long distance up to $500. These days, you can't count on much, but you can count on AT&T for the life of your business. Unpredictable in spirit, Javon. pure in its essence, Javon. exquisite in its delicacy. Discover its unexpected nature, Javon White Musk. Tonight on The Late Show. You folks ready to play the feud? Yeah! Dave's playing games with John Travolta. Why? <laughs> Plus Fred Butler, Richie Sambora, and tomorrow, Roseanne. Who's watching the kids when you can't? Your three kids just walked out with a perfect stranger. A show every parent must see. 48 hours Thursday.